What's special about this nine-hole golf course in Tacoma, Washington isn't always apparent to the naked eye. Built on Veterans Administration property in 1955, American Lake's 2,800 yards aren't short on beauty. Still, to know what makes this course unforgettable, you can't just look. You have to listen to voices of veterans, like Jim Martinson, who served in Vietnam. Somebody stepped on a bouncing Betty landmine. It came out of the ground. It blew up about waist high, and it killed three of my friends, wounded 12, and I lost my leg and finger at that time. But Jim can play golf here. Oh, yeah. At first, you're going to tell yourself you're going to walk again, and you're going to be able to do all the things you did before, and you're in a, you know, a lot of denial. Three years ago, an IED in Iraq blew up Danny Dudek's vehicle. He can no longer use his legs. But Danny can play golf here. We were landed on Omaha Beach uh, seventh day of June, 1944. On D-Day, Red Burton was a 26-year-old ammunition chief. Now, he's 92 years old. Doesn't get around quite like he used to. But Red can play golf here. Wow. woo These men can all play here because American Lake is the only golf course in the country designed for use by disabled veterans. It's a, a vehicle for getting all the veterans out here to play, uh, no matter what their handicap. That was my goal when I started doing this, was to make it a place for all veterans to play. 77-year-old retired Navy man Pepper Roberts keeps the course running and accessible for the veterans who need its recreation so much. It's not just because Red's 92 or if Jim doesn't have any legs. Every group out here is like a small support group. We have young kids that come back and have been wounded pretty seriously. And for a lot of them, they, they think it's over. And then they come out and they find out it isn't. Elmer Stevens was a medic in Vietnam, laid low by post-traumatic stress disorder. And I tried to commit suicide three times, and if it wasn't for my friends in this course, I wouldn't be here right now. I'd be, I'd be six feet under. But Elmer can play golf here. Once I come in the gate out here, all my problems just disappear because I know I'm going to my second home because I feel secure here. And I got a lot of friends that I golf with that are the same way. Enough disabled vets have come to rely on this course that it was time to provide more opportunities to play here. So Tacoma native and former PGA Tour player Ken Still turned to his teammate on the 1969 Ryder Cup team. Kenny Still called me and he said, Jack, he says, I need some help. I said, what do you need, Kenny? He says, he says, he says I'm involved, he says, down here in this uh, American Lake Veteran Golf Course, and it's all for disabled veterans coming back from overseas. And they've got a little nine-hole golf course here, and it needs more golf. We go through there, and we play down to where that tee was. So that becomes a par five down there. So Jack Nicholas volunteered his services and began designing a back nine to make American Lake an 18-hole course. Once that's done, he'll spruce up the front nine. You've got to understand who's playing. They've got to be able to get into sand traps. You've got to be able to get out of sand traps. So, you know, you've got to do a lot of things that allow them to be able to, to have access to the golf course. It's the idea and what it represents and what it's for. That's what's important to me. Here you've got guys who have given themselves and have come back impaired who have a hard time getting in the mainstream of life. This is something for them in their paragolfers, in their solo riders. These veterans not only can play golf here, but also try to heal from all they have had to endure. I don't have to apologize for things. I don't have to explain things to other soldiers. And so it's a place that I get to play golf and compete, so I'm not the person that they're lagging behind and, and give them a free shot to because he's the disabled kid. And because people are listening, these veterans have regained what truly makes them special. Their grit, oh. their courage, their selflessness. 
Let's get it on. Let's go. Let's do it. Woohoo.